is Hong Kong and beyond. I'm Shaz. I'm Leon and today we're going to be looking at 1982's The Dead and the Deadly. <laughs> So, you may have seen on our social media that we recently got The Dead and the Deadly from Eureka. What a nice release this is. And, um, yeah, we're fans of this film. We've been fans of this film for a while. We have the old Fortune Star DVD. But this is a significantly better upgrade. We were asked to cover this one. And the gentleman was so nice about it. We thought, how could we possibly refuse? So we're going to indulge and we're going to cover a new release for once. And this one, it was released in 1982, but it was directed by Wu Ma. Now, mm. Wu Ma has a role in this, and it's very much akin to Encounters of the Spooky Kind. And Samo is our lead, but in this one, he doesn't really know Kung Fu as such, does he? He's, no. you know, he's... His friend, Wu Ma, is the one that knows to come mm -hmm. through in this, and it's a bit of a strange plot, actually. It starts off with Samo trying to con some people, um, pretending to be a ghost, mm -hmm. and he gets busted, then we have a real ghost. And, um, yeah, his friend, he's, like, impotent, which is Wu Ma, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And he seems to be dead and his wife who is pregnant is mourning him but uh, but mm. she isn't really his wife she's actually married to chung fat and the three of them are in some plot together and whilst he's being laid there waiting for his burial we get a lot of hijinks and <laughs> i don't want to say what happens to him i don't you know some people might not send this film no, no i don't want to ruin it but let's just say we've got spooky goings on and complete shenanigans but very much centered around the comedy of this film mm. with the horror aspects still in there yeah, a la yeah. spooky encounters mm. what were your thoughts on this one shaz returning to it after quite a long time how did you feel watching it this time around um i really enjoyed it actually yeah. and it's I... not as good as spooky encounters however well, I think it is, actually. I think it's, it's, a, tiny, it's a tiny bit it's better, I thought. What? I just, it just tickled me so much. I've not laughed so much for ages. There's so many funny bits. Like, so I don't want to give too much away, but like people floating around, you know, people's reactions to that. Oh, it just made me laugh. It would do. It definitely <laughs> appeals to your bizarre <laughs> sense of humour. <laughs> so silly <laughs> but i love that it was giving me dentist anxiety in some scenes oh yes yeah oh trying to i mean i i know when you're a child like you might have a bit of <laughs> string tied around your tooth if it's loose but the way the way it's done in this film it looked like bloody torture <laughs> yes there is some nice imagery down in this you know mm -hmm. samuel dressed up in that sort of costume where he looks like a paper doll. Yes, yeah. I like that, yes. That was very good. That was good. Yeah. Good sound effects. And we have some of the light visual effects on the screen that, you know, were very prevalent in Hong Kong movies at the time, mm. you know. Mm. I guess it all started off with like Zoo Warriors and, well, you know, some early short ones had some of those light like, visual effects too. Mm -hmm. How do you think the effects start in this one? Yeah, yeah, really well yeah. actually. I was quite surprised. I don't know why I was surprised, but I remember thinking, oh, you know, these effects are good. And one bit where there was a possession, I liked the representation of the possession where you saw the ghost going into the body and then the soul coming out of the body. I, I really like that. Yeah. I thought it was done really well as well. It was quite mm. cleverly done. Mm. What this one lacked for me, that spooky encounters had, is Kung Fu. There is Kung mm. Fu in it. Yeah, and yeah, I feel yeah. it's good, yeah. but I didn't have that quantity 
mm. or quality that I had in Spooky Encounters. I feel like then this film was maybe not focused on the Kung Fu. It was maybe an all-round film with lots of different elements, not this is a Kung Fu film that's got supernatural elements. It was just a film and they put in it, you know, it a could bit be. of fighting, quite a bit of comedy. I don't know. Yeah, maybe they were trying something different yeah. and I'm looking at it completely wrong. It could be. But that being said, it sounds like I'm being negative towards it. I actually really enjoyed it too. Mm. And I, I think that Eureka should be commended for going a little bit deeper down the mm. well and pulling mm. these type of films up. Yeah, yeah. Because you're, you're giving your audience a taste mm. of what else was out there, of something different, you know? You go into the buffet and you see exactly what's on there. Mm. And it's not just the one flavour. There's mm. many different flavours. And this one had, I think there was a bit in the commentary where it said about you usually get the blue lights with the spooky scenes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. Honor or Mike might mention that. Yeah, I think that. so, yeah. And it's in this one we've got green light that we usually have in Thai films, you know? Yes. So I like that. And you know what else I like, guys? We got Sherry Chung in there. Fantastic. God, she mm. looks beautiful in this. Mm. Yeah. And again, another thing on the commentary, they said she came number three in Miss Hong Kong. Three? <laughs> how, co how come not number one? I mean, who could possibly have beat her that year? I just, I, I, I'm staggered. Inconceivable! I think... <laughs> you have to look it up, maybe the competition I, I No, it can't be. It can't be. There's some fiddle going on there, I think. <laughs> Very definitely a fiddle. She should have been number one. But. And um, I like that Chung Fat in this as well. You know, mm. I always love seeing Chung Fat. He's always there. Samuel's there. Chung Fat's there somewhere, isn't he? Mm -hmm. And of course, one of our favourites who we covered a lot recently, Lord Mono Bro himself, Lam Ching Ying. Mm -hmm. Well, go on. What did you think about Lam Ching Ying in this? Because it was a little bit different, wasn't it? Yeah, he, he was playing a very older character, wasn't he? And he really did look. Well, really different because when the film started, I'm like, oh, oh, I know that guy. Who is it? And I couldn't tell it was him, which <laughs> is bonkers when you think how much we've seen him. But it really threw me because the makeup was so good. Um, yeah, he wasn't in it a lot, I would say, but he was good in the scenes he was in. Yes. As always. Yeah, and we had some of the, the regulars in there. We had um, Carly or Curry. He was mm -hmm. one of the helpers Definitely, yeah. and there was the Peter Chan mm -hmm. was with him mm -hmm. who was also in Spooky Encounters and yes. Prodigal Son. Yeah. Not Peter Chan, the director, the other Peter Chan. I forget the names. What's... Um, Peter Chan Lung? Yeah, Peter Chan Lung. Yeah, I always like him. He always plays a good part, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. But, you know, slightly looks a little bit goofy sometimes and, mm. you know, but I like it. He's, he's a good character actor. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have further notes on this? So I know you made a few. Is there anything that you think we should bring up? Um, it was nice to see Samo in the Taoist outfit because I don't think you said we noticed that before. Seen it in anything else? No. Yes, I'd completely forgotten about that. Mm. And um, I'd forgotten it from previous viewings. But yeah, you know, there's something about seeing an actor in those Taurus robes doing that yeah. thing with the wooden sword or the coin sword, all that sort of magic mm. stuff. And he did briefly have it on in this, so that was a nice little plus in, yeah. uh, for the film, I feel. Yeah. And I really liked, um, there was a section with these three, what, what, what were they? The three, like, spirits? Yeah, they were supposed to be guarding some. Were they guards yeah. of hell or something? Yeah, something yeah, they looked yeah. like aliens, basically. Oh, yeah, they remind me of E.T. Yes, and they were going rough on um, Sherry Chung. In fact, this is this is going to seem very left field, yeah, but that whole sequence reminded me of Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> true, let strange, me explain. Strange but true. <laughs> yes, in this... Sherry Chung, yeah, she, hear me out here, yeah? she's <laughs> fighting to keep Samo alive and not letting go to the underworld, yeah, mm. against these three spirits. Mm. What does Samuel Bergman, a la Valeria, do when Conan's like near death and Mako has tattooed him everywhere and, you know, put him out in the desert? 
and the spirits come for him. Mm -hmm. She fights the spirits off mm -hmm. the same way Sherry Chung does. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that's an accident. I think Conan the Barbarian is 81 and this came the year after 82. Yes, yes. So I'm pretty certain they would have seen that. Okay, and I think they've replicated it. Yeah, interesting. Thoughts please. What do you guys think? Do you agree? I should do. I should. <laughs> Well, you and Bu was involved, wasn't he, with the um, martial arts? Yeah, it's it had like I think about four different choreographers mm, in there. I think you know, Lam Ching Ying as well. Lam Ching Ying and Samuel mm. and his stunt team and you and Bu, which um, considering it didn't really have that much martial arts in it, mm. it was quite a surprise. But it's nice to know that yeah. they got all that talent in there. You know, they obviously cared about the complete presentation of this one. I think that's probably about it. Are you ready to give a score? I am. Yes. All right. I shall go first then. And I'm going to give this one a solid 7 out of 10. Cool. I'm scoring 7.5 out of 10. Right. And as for our viewers, if you'd like to let us know your scores, whether you think we're wrong or we're right, and there's anything you'd like to add, please leave in the comments below. This was really a fun release a really good one mm -hmm. from Eureka again mm -hmm. so uh, and again I really like the artwork on yeah. this we changed it around so we've got the other cover mm -hmm. on the blu-ray and there's a nice little booklet and we have um Jinging as the old dude on the background so yeah another stunning release love the artwork and yeah bring us some more Eureka we're ready for them any more words, Shaz, or is that it for now? That's all for now. Okay, so we will catch you guys on the next one.